be honest. I try to be honest with people because it's important for us to be honest. Most of the people who go to the Botanic Gardens who are members of the Botanic Garden are white folks. And they love their garden. They love their garden. Do they want to see the toilet, the towers go up? No. Do they want to see the shade go up? No. But what the problem is, is that if you're a black person and you're running the resistance, then there's resistance to them to join you because you're black. Well, this is where he comes in at. He went into that garden. We had we had a, we had to go and get signatures. Because he looks like he's white, he's a male. That's the image that they relate to. He got 150 signatures in one like evening. That, like just that. like that. Because they relate to that. And unfortunately, this is how we are. But we have to we have to break those racial boundaries. Because let me tell you something, we all are gonna suffer from this. Not not one race of people is coming into yeah. our neighborhoods and is taking everything. And they don't care what color you are. They don't care what race you are. They don't care how much money you got. They want land. They want money. And greed is it's at the top most point. So I'm going to introduce you to David Eisenbach. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is David Eisenbach. Uh, I teach history at Columbia. Uh, and I'm running for public advocate as the anti-Rebney candidate. Yes. I am the one that is actually going to call out the true enemy of all our communities. And that is the Real Estate Board of New York. Because yes. they got a plan. They are proud of this plan. Their plan is to get rid of people in communities of color, to displace them, and replace them with what they call working professionals. Well, you know who they're talking about. All right? And we need to stand up to the politicians of all colors who are puppets of the re of the Real Estate Board of New York. Exactly. Who are you? What's that? I said, who are you? I'm a historian. And I know that we are in a critical historical moment where it's unsustainable what we're doing, kicking out working New Yorkers and replacing them with luxury towers. And one of the things that really is devastating us is the small business crisis. And one of the reasons why we're marching today is to support the Small Business Job Survival Act. What's the main employer of immigrants in New York City now and always has been? Small business. What's the main avenue for immigrants to get the American dream now and always? Small business. And when you have these politicians who say that they're pro-immigrant, who will talk night and day about how bad Trump is, but when they don't do anything to save small businesses and the jobs for immigrants, they can't call themselves pro-immigrant. Don't let them call them out. Now, this Small Business Job Survival Act, this is the big fight this fall. This act is coming up for a public hearing. I expect everybody to be there. We need this act that's actually going to provide rights to the small business owners, to the culture of our neighborhoods. Redney's plan is to get rid of the bodegas. Redney's plan is to get rid of the affordable restaurants. What do they want to replace it with? Well, right now they're replacing it with empty storefronts because they figured out how to make more money not renting the space than renting it. Exactly. They also want to get rid of the neighborhood uh, coffee spot and they want to replace it with a place where you can get a $7 latte. That's not the New York that I want. That's not your New York. That's not our New York. That's why we need the SBJSA. And please consider voting for me for public advocate, the anti revenue hey, candidate. Hey, 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 hey.